No better way to not spend money than stay at home. Right. <laughs> oh, I still managed to. It works. Yeah, it works. For the most part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, what are we saying about Miss Mary? So, so I talked to her. Um, I told her that if the kids renounce their interest from the succession, then this judgment goes away. Mm. Like so. I talked to Roosevelt. He's agreed to renounce his interest. And mm-hmm. I talked to Sonoma. Wait, Simone? Simona. Um, and she has agreed also to sign her interest away. Mm. So um, I've been reaching out to Tanya. I haven't gotten a hold of Tanya. Uh-oh. Um, and, of course, we know what's his name. Martel is nowhere to be found. Right. So... That's what we're waiting on now. Um, I left Tanya a couple messages, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna call Miss Lee back in a minute and let her know so far what's going on. Um, yes, if we can get Martel to sign away his interest and um, Tanya as well, then we're good. Miss Lee can close the deal, and she gets her proceeds. No, nothing is clouding the title at that point. Gotcha. So right um, now, what what's clouding the title right now? Uh, the... Right now, because of Roosevelt's interest, it's it's it has the judgment on it. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if he gives up his interest and Simone gives up her interest, then what happens is that interest goes to Tanya and Martel. So they then have to give up theirs as well because they're getting Roosevelt and they're getting Roosevelt's and Sonoma's Simona Simona's interest right now. Right. So they need to renounce their interest plus what they've gained. Mm-hmm. And then it'll go to the mob. Mm. Gotcha. And how much is that for? Their part. No, I'm saying how much is uh is that lien for? It's lien on it. The lien is for eleven thousand. Gotcha. So but we won't have to deal with the lien if they just sign away their interest. Gotcha. Because the lien will never attach to the property. Gotcha. So as long as we can get them to sign away their interest in the succession. That's the thing, though, is we need a signature from Martel mm. and Tom. So has anybody s- spoken to either one of those two recently? Um, Martel, I think that she, the mom, I think Miss Lee talked to him yesterday, but... That's the homeless one? Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the homeless one. And then um, Tanya, I believe she talked to her as well. Um so I, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll reach out to Miss Miss Lee again and let her know what I've talked to them about, and if she can, you know, talk to Tanya and let her know what we figured out, and mm-hmm. that we can do this a different way, so that way she actually does get proceeds, you know. Gotcha. So what I'm thinking is, did you want to go ahead and, and set the closing a little a couple hours earlier, just in case? Somebody's running um, late or something like that. I mean, I can do like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock if I need to get up and come. I'll get up and come just to be on the yeah. safe side. Well, she told me earlier uh, if we could do noon, that would be good for her. So um, for both uh, Simona and Miss Lee, they could come in at noon if that's okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'll write that down now. Okay. Um, and then hopefully, um, I don't know, hopefully Martel like, shows up somewhere. I, I asked Roosevelt, I was like, can somebody just go pick him up and have him sign it? Like, you know? Gotcha. Yeah, shit, I'll pick him up if, if need be, but that's a last resort because I don't, I don't know him, so. <laughs> you don't need to be picking up crazy people. Oh, I picked up people before and brought them to closing the the house on Roosevelt we did last year. Yeah. Robert Thompson, I picked him up and brought him to closing. He doesn't drive or anything like that, but. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Wow. All right. I'll do whatever needs to be done. But that's a last resort, so I mean, don't okay. offer it to him unless we have I'm to. I'm going to be offering it. Um, when it said he would go ahead and pick up all of the relatives. <laughs> oh, God. When it's going to be in, and he's going to pick everybody up. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to stop by Crumble Cookies and get everybody cookies. <laughs> she, they won't get my shit? No. <laughs> Not no Crumble. Let me talk to Miss Lee, and then I'll uh, I'll let you know what I find out. I know Roosevelt said he was going to talk to her tonight about doing whatever they need to do with Martel. So. Okay, gotcha. So, um, okay. and you said some of they have spoken to the other two recently. Yeah, so Miss Lee talked to Tanya. Um, pretty sure she talked to her yesterday, um, and she did speak with Martel yesterday because she told me that. He had a, a phone that he was calling on, but it wasn't his phone. She didn't know his number or if he had a phone or anything. Hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> so good. There, uh, yeah, Martel's uh, interesting. Interesting okay. person. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, I'll let you know what I find out. So that will take care of the judgment, and you won't have to pay any of it. And she won't have to pay any of it, which will be good. Gotcha. So you said is is they're they're denouncing their interest or what is it? That, yeah, they're re, they're renouncing it. Renouncing. Like they're just saying we don't want any part of it. Okay. Cool. And they're giving it away. So. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And Miss Mary knows about that part or yes. not yet? Okay. Cool. Yeah. She says she she said that all the kids would probably most likely be on board with it because they didn't want any part of it anyway. Gotcha. So they still have to come and sign. No right. They do. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if they can, uh, gotcha. But they still have to get. Hopefully, he has an ID that's not expired. I mean, I know that's. Gotcha. Do they know anything about that? Or you haven't asked that just yet. I have. Asked okay. Them okay. About it, and they said they didn't know if he had. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't know if he had anything on him. Okay. All right. Um, I'll call you back when I know more. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. Bye. Uh -huh. All right. Bye. Bye. So this is an update, and I'm gonna make this kind of shortish. Uh, hold on. One second. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So this is an update for the house that uh i got for sixty five hundred dollars maybe two maybe three weeks ago or something like that and uh, uh oh, my face is getting chubby i need to, i just need to shave that's what i say i got all these little hair bumps now but uh this is for the property that i got for six that we got for sixty five hundred dollars and so what ended up happening was one of the heirs that so okay so it's the lady that signed the purchase agreement her husband passed away and we needed to do a succession on it i don't know what they call it in other states but a succession is where the so okay so you got husband and a wife the husband dies in this situation and now the wife is the owner of the property well the husband well, she adopted the husband's kids, so the kids get his portion. And there was something like that, but basically the kids got his portion and uh, they would have to split the $6,500, however many ways, I mean, that the paperwork says the succession says it needs to be split in. So come to find out they're doing the title search. They got the, well, they got the succession done first, then they're doing a the title search. And... Of course, one of the heirs has a, an $11,362.58 judgment against them for like a Discover credit card that his ex-wife had ran up or something like that. And so now they're saying that, okay, so I got the information this morning. And now, just a second ago when I was on the phone with Melissa, damn these bumps, hair bumps. Uh, while I was on the phone with Melissa, and title, at the title company, and she said that 
they can renounce their interest in the property. Renounce, denounce, it's something. I want to say it was renounce. They can renounce their interest in, in the property, So, but they still have to come in and sign. So one of the siblings are homeless. One isn't picking up the phone from Melissa, but they've talked to her. And the other two have said that they will sign over their portion because nobody wants interest in a property. And um, so that's, so closing is Friday. Today is Wednesday. Um, hopefully we can get this done. Like I said, I'll go pick the guy up if need be and bring him to the closing. Uh, hell, I even pay for him to get an ID if need be. I We'll figure something out. But, um, yeah, uh, I think that's it. I'm about to update Stacy in just a second. But $11,362.58. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, thankfully, Clifford at the title company found that out. So, Clifford is the, the man that I was on a computer with that day at the title company. And we were going over another property that we're buying. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all out. I think that's all the information, maybe. I'm trying to think because once I end this video, that's going to be it. I'm not adding anything on to it. Um, uh, yeah, that's going to have to be it today. But make sure that y'all like this video subscribe and let me know your thoughts on this property i'm gonna go put some alcohol on my face um yeah that's gonna be it for today but thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all later